Hello everyone, and today we're back into another Lumion Legacy Showcase video, and today we are showcasing Raburn. We are running a very robust set with Drop of Youth, and we're running the Bulk Up Body Crash set. Yes, Raburn finally learns Bulk Up as an MM, so I'm going to utilize Bulk Up Body Crash to my full advantage. I have Slap Down to get rid of items, and I have Raging Flame to lower the melee attack of melee attackers, so I can do Chip. And deal massive damage now with Rap Burn, which is awesome. These are the TPs. I have 200 in the melee defense, 160 in the health to put it at 161, and I got 80 in the energy, 80 in the range defense, while 60 is into the energy. And this is the team I'm running with Rap Burn. I have Baneki, but I'm running a stall Neki set so I could sap plant and then go back into Rap Burn. That's basically the strategy there. And then I have Tyronix, which is basically OP. I got Stratosaur, but it's my tech Stratosaur set, which I really like using. I got Galvademic, so I can health gift, and I also have Barbs on this, so yep, that's fun. And I also have Barbadger as my melee attacker, and I have Dusket as my pivot user. By the way, this Barbadger will have specialty boots as well, so I can actually outspeed stuff. With that out of the way, let's head right into the battles with Raburn. Alright, we're into battle number one now, and let's see what you... Alright, this team is a rather weird team. There are a bunch of melee attackers, though, so I can definitely utilize that to my advantage. But I don't think this is the right battle to showcase Red Burn. I'm going to try it. But I don't think this is the best battle to showcase Red Burn. But I'm going to try it anyway, because I think it will be fun to have a Red Burn sweet. Although i got to be careful, because Boonary is a thing. So, yeah, I'll actually... I want to click Gobademic. There we go. Gobademic, I'll lead with you. I'll place... I'll throw a Hypnotize and get Barbs up, although... Hmm, I'd rather have Duskin as my leader than Shadow Sprint. That'll be, that'll be what I do, actually. And then I'll bring... I'll bring Tyronix for the... that thing. So I kind of want something for that, but I think we'll be fine. We'll lead off a of Duskin. So I feel like it's going to be a Boonary lead. Terrafly lead, actually. Thing is, there's no way a Terrafly is going to stay in, but... But... I think I'm still going to fade away, because... Yeah, oh, it's going to place Poison Barbs. But yeah, it doesn't matter if he places... But Poison Barbs doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that he places Poison Barbs. It really doesn't matter. I could care less if he placed Poison Barbs. So yeah, I'll make the swap into Raburn. I'll give you a minus attack. And now this is where the fun begins. Yeah, there's the Poison Barbs. I'm going to go for a plus one. I think my defense is a little bit higher up. I'll go for bulk up. It actually has Muck Blast. And it gets the poison! Right off the bat! Yeah! Muck Blast Terrafly! Muck Blast Terrafly! Just specifically for Rat Burn! Yeah! Yeah! I see how it is. Get one shot at you stupid Terra. Oh yeah! Yeah! Dodge! Muck Blast Terrafly! Muck Blast Terrafly. And it hurts just the Rat Burn. You deserve to get KO'd. You deserve to get one-shotted. And you deserve to get critted one-shotted, too. Stupid Terrafly. Of course. It gets the RNG right off the bat. You deserve to get one-shotted. Die, Terrafly. Die. Thank you. It's dead after my Rat Burn takes 7,000 damage to it unnecessarily. At least I brought Bob and Nemec the health gift, but still, that really stunk. What do you go into next? Infernix? I will... No, do I believe that I will just one-shot? Nah. Nah. I'm gonna go into Medic. Dang it. I hate it. I hate it. Yeah, that Terrafly just completely already ruined my mood. There's a Mud Spatter. Yeah, Mud Spatter Infernix. Mud Spatter Infernix! Just specifically for Raburn. It's like this guy scouted what I had. Yeah, just specifically. Specifically, just specifically for Rabbit, of course. Oh, well, I'm gonna go into Phantom, and I'm gonna one shot your butt because you deserve to go down after that. That Muck Blast poison put me in a bad mood. So get out of here, you stupid Infernix. Get out of here. I know what. I might just get a Tronic Sweep. I might just get a Tronic Sweep just for goodness sakes because, yeah, that's really annoying. Muck Blast. Muck Blast Terrafly with Poison. Like, I knew it was a TP train, but come on. Well, that's another level. And you know what? I doubt that Pluff's even TP train. Yeah, I, I'm staying in. I'm gonna Nova Blast and one-shot you. You're not TP... Oh! Oh, I see! 
So yeah, you guys, oh yeah, you need to have the item, yeah. Yeah, fun, yeah, you're really, you're really fun, you know that? You're such a comedian, Pua. Of course, you gotta have the drop of you, yeah, you, you gotta have it. Oh yeah, let's just spam poison. Let's just spam the stupid poison. Yeah, I might lose to the stupid Pluff now. Might as well just lose to the stinking Pluff. Yeah, yeah, the, the same person who runs Muck Blast Terraflock. Please, please, Cerebral Slash, just one-shot the stinking thing, because I don't want to die to the stupid thing. Yeah. Ah, uh, it sucks. I can't believe it. Just die, please. Stay in. You haven't made a swap the whole game, so come on. You haven't made a swap the whole game. He's gonna make the swap now just to save his Pluff for later and spam Rejuvenate. That's why he sent level 100, so yeah. Thank you. Thank gosh you failed the double dodge. You deserve to fail the double dodge. So get out of here, Pluff! Get out of here! I'm gonna try to get back into Gobademic if I can, and hopefully I can get a... I can get a health gift off and hopefully do some more. There's Boonary. I'm just gonna click Shadow Sprint. Never mind, I'm just gonna get sh I'm just gonna click Shadow Sprint. Please don't know what priority is. You don't know what priority is, right? You have no idea what priority is, right? It's the same person who runs a Muck Blast. Come on. Look at pick the more powerful move. The more powerful move is fade away. It's obvious. It's obvious that the more powerful move is fade away. Yeah, yeah. He knows how to use Shadow Spray, apparently. Yeah, this happens. Yeah, that's great. That sucks. I can't believe it. I'll go on the Tyronix and just try to... I don't know what to do from here. This stinks. This was a total disaster. Just a total other disaster. Yeah, you're saving the... Oh, yeah, I know why. Fruitress. Yeah, you have Fruitress as well. Happens to have Fruitress on your team. The thing that sucks is that I kind of want to save this. I kind of want to save my Rat Burn. I, actually, you're going to go for Sat Plan, I think. Oh my god, are you kidding? Jesus, that's bulky attack. Yeah, it's getting health back too. Well, Fruitress. You're a funny guy. You are a very funny guy, Fruitress. Can I tell you why? Can I tell you why you're very funny? Because you're not funny. Because guess what? I have... I have freaking Baneki, so try stat planting that. Yeah, try Thistle Slashing that. You can't. You can't do it. Now I'm going to go for a quick slam first to trap you in. No, the poison's better, I think. Yeah, try stat planting. Yeah, Briar Ball. You got to have all the annoying moves. I see. No, on my luck, you probably have poison as well. So yeah, I... Is, was, this a, was this a team that was like... I don't know. Was this a team that wasn't set up? I don't know, honestly. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> honestly, I don't even know anymore. Was this the team that was TP trained, or was it just a pure coincidence that his two pre evolves and drop of use and his other Lumians didn't have Dibley Squat? I don't know, actually. I don't even know. I'm gonna go for dodge because I know you're gonna go for poison. It's so obvious that you're gonna go for poison that I might as well just go for the dodge. Yeah, get stalled, Boonary. Not Boonary. Yeah, well, Boonary, but you know what I mean. Yeah, wow, you went for the poison. Wow, I am so shocked. Might as well say Baneki, because that's my win condition. So I'm going to go into Gobademic. I'm going to health gift into my... Yeah, I'm going to health gift into my Reburn. And then we'll see what we do from there. Yeah, go for another poison, yeah. So yeah, I'll go for the health gift, because you're going to go for the other move, I assume. I could have denied uh, your poison already. So yeah, I got to go for the health gift. I almost just clicked the wrong move. Yeah, he goes into Fruitress. Yeah, he goes into Fruitress, because that's why not? Why not go into Fruitress? Why not? I'll go into Ramburn, because I want to use it. I want to at least use this a little bit. Just a little bit. I'll give you a minus one, which really doesn't matter at all. I get to slap out your drop of youth, though. Briar Block, because of course, yeah, just you gotta go for the Briar Block. Make it more annoying. I think that's good about Red Burn is that it actually has slap down, which is really good. So yeah, you're gonna go for the other. You're gonna go for the sap plant. You're gonna go for the sap plant. So I'm going for another slap down. Go for another slap down because I want to. Yeah, he's gonna save his item, even though. 
Even though it's freaking Boonary, who cares? Your item's gonna slap down, and you don't even have the other item, so it doesn't even matter anyway. Like, the terrifying doesn't even matter anyway, so you lose your item. Do you even have an item? Okay, so you have special people. Okay, so you were a TP You were a PvP team. You were a PvP team. Alright, you were a PvP. Good to know. You were a PvP. Well, I'm not getting my item slapped off, so I'm going back into Phantom. Going back into Phantom. There we go. I'm gonna go for the Cross Beam to predict the Fruitress. Because let's be honest, Fruitress is coming in. But they actually did a decent amount of damage. Oh my god, I actually did a decent amount. Although I think we're gonna be okay. You don't have dodge on Boonary, so I'm gonna just use that to my advantage. Don't do your fruit tris. Do it right now. He didn't, though, but that's fine. I think he goes down to the poison anyway. Yeah, he goes down to the poison, which is good. So, yeah, there's the slap down. Bang. I died of poison. Yep, and he dies of poison, so we both died of poison. Fortunately, not gonna be able to get... I'm not gonna use Red Burn in this battle, because yeah, this battle... I don't know what the heck happened in this battle. So, yep. All right. We'll stall you. You're gonna get stalled. If you're gonna stall me, I'm gonna stall you. Take the poison. Take the poison, and I'm done. Yep, you're poisoned now. Slash. Yeah, that's a brilliant move. Brilliant move, buddy. Yep, you're yep, you're taking poison damage. Perfect. I'm gonna go for the quicksand, so you can take double damage. So yeah, now you're taking multiple ticks. And I have an idea, too. I know what I'm going to do as well. Go for the Slash. I'm going to stall a turn. Do I? Or do I go... I'm going to swap out this turn, actually. Because guess what? I want my freaking Red Burn to win. So I'm going into Red Burn now. Red Burn's going to get the KO after all this pain. So you're not safe. Red Burn's getting the KO. Whether you like it or not, Red Burn is getting a KO. Whether you like it or not. Fruitress, rather you like it or not, you're getting KO. No matter what, you can briar block all you want. You're going, you're dying to the poison. So say goodbye, Fruitress. Say goodbye, GGS. Let's head into battle number two of Red Burn. All right, battle number two. I think my last battle might have glitched because it said to stop recording for like five years, and usually when OBS does that, that means the battle is glitched. So, yeah, this is technically the third battle, but it will probably be the second in the video. Why do you have m all your melee attackers are freaking fire types? Are you really? Really? I can't deal with this now. Really? Really? Just happened. Like, all his melee attackers are fire types, so I can't even burn them. I can still body crash them, though, so that's something I can take into consideration. Uh, how do I beat this thing? Uh, you, you can. But you can't beat that, so that's fun. Benelin is also going to be kind of annoying, although I have this thing, so it's not the end of the world. How am I going to beat Bellaforge effectively? Poison stall in it? I can't poison stall that and that. I'll bring you then. Uh, you could be good, but I think we're going to lead off Tyrannix. We're going to lead Tyrannix. With the Drago down. Ferroglyph lead. <laughs> Ferroglyph lead. <laughs> I can't even hit the Ferroglyph. I don't think any of my Lumians can hit the Ferroglyph. I don't think any of my Lumians can hit the Fer. Let's see, are you a... T Let's see, what's that? Are you talent or you're idiot? Are you kidding? You have Reaper now, which means this Ferroglyph is going to be even more of a nightmare to deal with. And you know what's even worse? At least I get the phrase. But you know what's going to make this even more annoying? Not only will I not get Reaper health back, it will also- Oh god, yeah, oh yeah, oh boy, oh boy, I'm gonna get swept. I'm gonna get swept by a freaking Ferroglyph. I'm gonna get swept by a Ferroglyph right off the bat. Are you ready for the Ferroglyph sweep? I have only one thing I can speed it. God dang it, one thing I can freaking outspeed it. I have to stay in, I have to stay in. It's the only play I can do. At least he gets minus two. Or minus one, technically, but you get the point. Oh, wait, I got temper! Wait, he teletraded temper! Oh my god, okay. Well, this battle just got a little bit more interesting all of a sudden. He teletraded temper to me, meaning... I... It lived. And it's clicking Draco Beam again. Is it gonna crit? 
getting crit, thankfully. But he warmed up, but he's out of energy. I'm just gonna go for the rest. That was interesting. That was very interesting. I thought it was idiosyncratic. Spheroglyph is dead, pretty much. All I have to do is put up one layer of barbs and it's dead. He'll swap into Drago Dying? Sure, bot. And I don't want to take a hit from you. Although, my Red Burn does hit you quite effectively. Which is definitely something I should take into consideration. But if I go into Dusk yet, I can completely screw myself up. I kind of don't know what to do against Sherbot. Do I just sack Phantom? I can't, though. Drago Dine. Drago Dine's a thing. Now, I want to at least have a little bit of chip for it. I think Spy's the best play, unfortunately. Even though it has priority, its priority isn't very good against Drago Dine. Has Auto Order been fixed yet on Sherbot? We'll see. We'll see if Sherbot's Out of Order's fixed. We'll see. We will see if Out of Order's fixed. We will see. I think it is, but I'm not sure. Is Out of Order fixed yet? It's not fixed yet. It's not fixed yet. You kidding? <laughs> it's not fixed yet. It's not fixed yet. Are you kidding? Oh, it has Dutch Dream too. Oh, yeah. Bellow Forge comes on it. At least I have Stratosaur. But we're really pushing this. We are really pushing this battle. Just gonna go for the jet stream because that can at least that will at least threaten out the Bill of Forge. But of course it stays in. It's gonna live. At one HP. One HP like always. It can't just be dead. It can't just be dead. No, it has to live at one HP. Pretty much just make Drago Dine have a free sweep. Also, I might also get burned here. Let me guess. Let's just be honest. Okay, I wasn't burned, thankfully. We'll go for another jet stream. Bellaforge is a sack here. Like, all his Lumians are alive, and all my Lumians are dead. I, and he has Dragodine. I 100% bet he has Dragodine. Why wouldn't you have Dragodine? Let's be honest here. Why wouldn't he have Dragodine to sweep easily? I mean, he sweeps everything. I can't even use my Raburn against it. Like, I can't even use Rad Burn against any of his team anyway. Who does he go into? Faraglyph? Okay, sex Faraglyph. I'm fine with that. I don't care. I don't care. I have to say Strap for Pillow. But he's gonna go into Drago Dine, which has specialty boots, and will hit every attack, and what means I will die. That's pretty much what's going to happen here. When in the Sherbot, actually. I outspeed this. I outspeed this, but I don't really defeat it. Uh, do I save the strat? It could be the one barb set, but I'm metal blasting. I don't care. I'm doing damage while I can. It does one-shot the Sherbot, though. That's good. That could have been nice for a burn to do work, but I'm not going to argue. I'm still worried about Dragodyne. There it is. Now, is your Dragodyne specialty boots? <laughs> to be honest, it is. It's not. Thank gosh. Thank goodness it's not. It's in rain. Thank goodness this thing isn't boots. If that thing is boots, I am just... I'm... He might as well get the broom out and just destroy me. His last one's Tronix, which is light spray. And I have nothing to deal with it. I have nothing I can do against Tronix. Just do your light speed. You didn't go for the light speed, right? Oh my goodness. It is... Oh yeah, this was Metallic Pearl. It does live, unfortunately. Buster Luke gets one health back. Gets one health. Does that something have Reaper? It doesn't. So I can go into Rat Burn, actually. Rat Burn can win the game here, actually. So let's do it. We're going into Rat Burn here. I don't care. I don't care that you have Luster Luke. You're going down, Tyronix. I hope I can beat this Tyronix with Rat Burn, because I really want to use Rat Burn so badly, at least for a little bit. I haven't used Bulk Up yet, which is really disappointing. But I think we're going to be okay. We can definitely beat the Bill of Forge. Bill of Forge is not a problem at all. Let's see, who do you... I outspeed the Tronix. Please take it out in one hit. It does. Tronix is dead. And now we go for the Body Crash. And Red Burn is actually going to get a couple KOs in this battle, which is good. Hopefully next battle goes pretty well. Oh no, Body Crash doesn't even hit you super effectively. I'll go for bulk up, actually. I have an idea. I'll go for bulk up. 
How much can a Bellaforge Earthquake do to me at neutral? I'm curious. I'm curious, how much? Oh my god, it did like zero. Alright, we'll go for another one, and then we'll body crash win here. Alright. Good to know. An Earthquake does literally zero to a Rabur. That is pretty good to know. He does go for a Heat Wave, but that doesn't really help him too much. So we'll go for the Body Crash, and Raburn gets the win. So we were able to click Bulk Up. Nice, we were able to click the new move on the Villa Forge. And yeah, that'll probably be the way I... If the, I am up against a Villa Forge, I'll probably be what I do and get up to plus six. So that is really good to know. There goes the Villa Forge. Let's head into battle number three with Raburn. All right, battle number three. And this team... Okay, there's a Tyrex, there's a Wrestling, there's a Sea Drake, and a Helvantic. There are a bunch of Lumians I can use this with. I can't Raging Flame the Akalos, but I can still terrify it. The biggest threat on his team is Tyronix. His biggest threat is Tyronix, which that is a little concerning. I'm not sure how I'm going to beat it, but we're going to try our very hardest. Honestly, I think I'm going to bring my own Tyronix. And there's Tyrex, but... Is Tyrex that threatening? A little bit. Okay, a little bit. Tyrex is a little bit threatening. Kinda gotta bring you just for it. And I might honestly... No, I'm gonna lead off. I'm gonna bring Gobademic. I'm gonna bring you with a Pyroman. But I have stuff with a Pyroman, so... I'm gonna bring Gobademic. I'm gonna get a Gobademic lead. Or... Do I go for Raburn lead? I'm gonna go for Raburn lead here, actually. Raburn lead, and we'll see what you go into. We'll see what your lead is. Your lead is Wrestling Lead. I like that a lot, actually. And I brought Tyronix, which is awesome. I actually brought Tyronix. I feel like the Wrestling's gonna stay in, but if I burn the Wrestling, I'm gonna do a burn play here. He swapped. Range Attacker? Okay, this is interesting. This Tyronix is burnt, though, which that's good. That is passive damage that's gonna be on it for the rest of the fight. If it has a Health Emulet, the Health Emulet does get... What do, I, what do I call it? The Health Amulet does get staggered, which is good. Uh, what do I do from here? I have nothing I can really do. I guess I'll slap down. Oh, I, I guess I'll slap down. Because remember, I can still do the other... Okay, my Reburn outspeeds his Tyronix. And I did get a crit. And his was Health Amulet. So yeah, he's now taking repeated damage for the rest of the fight. Gamma Pulse, how much would that do? Okay, I actually didn't do that much. Yeah, right, I always... I don't underestimate how good our burn's range defense is as well. Like, I don't even have that much investment. I mean, I sold 103 at level 50. So when you combine that with the drop of youth and the health, that actually is decent. I could even stay in again if I really want to, but you really want to get rid of this Tyronix. I just am not sure what the best play is here. He's going Barbadra the best play and then get completely whacked? I kind of don't know what to do here, honestly. Uh, do I go Baneki? But if I get Frost Beamed, I'm dead. Tyronix might be the best play, honestly. Although, this is probably not a Reaper Tyronix. Let's be honest. If I have Gamma Pulse, I don't think it would be Reaper. So it's probably Prismatic. Okay, it's Spectral Burst. Good to know. It is Spectral Burst. We get to threaten the Tyronix. We get to threaten it out. We need to get rid of this Tyronix. I don't know how we can... But we gotta try to threaten out this Tyronix. If we can beat this Tyronix, Raburn's looking pretty good at burning everything else. He can't go wrestling. He can't go... Tyrex can come in, though. Tyrex does come in. That is okay. That's not the end of the world. I can lower its melee attack. There's honestly a lot of things I can do here. It is a health emulate Tyrex. He has his casual battle, so he has multiple health emulates. We'll go over the Baneki play here. And I'll go... I have an idea here. Yeah, Banekis are only swapped. That's the only reason I brought the Banekis. Scapegoat. Oh, boy. Scapegoat. Ah, oh, I don't like that at all. Why is it Scapegoat? Why is it Scapegoat? Why is it Scapegoat? Can, Mutz, can Quicksand at least get rid of it in one turn? It won't. It won't get rid of it in one turn. Gosh, he knows! He knows that I'm running Stall Neki. It doesn't even get rid of it! It doesn't even freaking get rid of it. That means Tyrex gets free setups. And I have nothing else that can hit it. Oh no. I have nothing else that can hit this. Are you kidding? I'm going to get swept by a Tyrex. 
Okay, went for another sharpen, meaning okay, I should be able to live ahead. If I could just get one quick sand off, if I can get one quick sand off, I can maybe stall the Tyrus. This is only plus two, and this has melee defense. I should be fine. He's trapped now. Can't believe though. That takes zero damage. Jeez. He's trapped by quicksand. The Steel Crusher didn't do that much, actually. That's fine. I actually didn't do that much. And honestly, I think I'm going to go for Sap Plant here and try to get some health back. Although I think it's obvious the play that I'm going to do. I'm going to throw Sap Plant. I missed. I missed the attack. And it gets the plus one! And it gets the plus one! And it gets it! Of course it does! Why wouldn't it get it? Why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't it get it? Pick sand again, in case he swaps that again. Might as well just defeat the stupid thing, or at least get it down low enough. Yeah, it's down low enough, so... Tronic's coming and beat it. Yeah. 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 That happened. That happened. Who do I go into? Barbadger, clean up. Barbadger, clean up. Barbadger, clean up. Go for the Ice Hammer so you can't just, you know. Go for the Ice Hammer so you can't just go into Tyronix right off the bat and just win. You're not going into Tyronix. You have to you have to sack Tyrex. There's nothing you can do here. Don't go wrestling. Yes, you sack Tyronix. Awesome! That is a huge Lumion to have dead. That's why I went for the Ice Hammer. That's why I went for the Ice Hammer. Who does he go into next? Wrestling can crit, which is scary. He does go into it, but it's basically free Tyronix. That's basically Tyronix for free, so I'll go into it. I don't want to go into Ryburn. And the reason why I don't is because if this is a buck up set, it doesn't matter that it has a minus one, it will still do as much damage. It's a stretch, okay? It's a stretch setup one, okay? It's a stretch setup. Okay, yeah, I don't think this wrestling's gonna be able to sweep with Tyronix. And Reburn? I don't think it's going to be able to sweep both of them. It could set up bulk ups, but I have moves that can deal with this. I don't even have a spirit type move, but that's fine. I, I'm still okay. With Tronics being dead, I'm still in a decent position. Goes into the Aqualoth, which is actually okay for me. I get a Nova Blast off. I can go for a minus one. Yeah, I can go for a minus one. And then I can actually go back into Barbadger. I'll be what I do. I'll go back into Barbadger and then just nuke the Aqualoth. Let's see. I'll give you minus one. If you go for Ice Hammer, it's good. Wave Wrecker, we'll kind of stink, but I'll be fine. Wave Wrecker, I might be able to live a Wave Wrecker. You know what? If this thing crits, I am going to be swapped. Pyrolin is his last one. Okay, Pyrolin is his last one. Good to know. Now it's a nice damage on the Pyrolin. That's actually some very good damage. I have Barbadger that can beat it. I have Phantom that can beat it. I still have Galvademic in the back as well. We are in a very good position right now. I think we can win from here. I kind of want to win with, you know... You go for the peace of mind now, which is really not good. I don't like that at all, Magnify. I do outspeed your Pyrolin, though, which that's good. I outspeed it. This is kind of the biggest threat left. I gotta be Pyrolin. If I can't be Pyrolin... We're not in good spot. Let's see. All right, yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Gloss is still gonna be scary, but we're good. Go for another Nova Blast and say goodbye to the Pyro, and that's big. I can just wait on the wrestling. I can wait on the wrestling. And honestly, what do I do from here now? Goes back in the Act Gloss. I don't want to take a hit neither. I really want to get him in the bat match. So, I have an idea. Swap in the Galvademic. I have an idea. I have an idea. Wave Wrecker, don't daze. It did not daze. Health Gift. Health Gift into Raburn. And I think Raburn might be able to win the game from there. There we go. Wave Wrecker, nah. Doesn't do anything. And he's almost out of energy anyway as well. He gets a minus one. I am at full health, meaning I definitely live the crit. 
And then I can burn his wrestling and his Tyrex, which is left over, which I can just damage the Tyrex. So we're in a great position. He swaps out. I think he sacks Tyrex. Oh, he goes into wrestling, actually. I'm actually kind of shocked that he did that. Dang. Could even burn you. And you know what? I will... No, I'll run out of energy if I do that. I will... It's not worth it. It's not worth it when I can go into Phantom and win. Did he go back into Tyrex? He does. That's okay. His Tyrex is out of energy. Wish it's like Body Crash again. Can Light Speed Ray be enough? Help me. Please, be enough. If it's not enough, then Tyrex wins. It's, of course it's not enough. It'd be a dream if it was enough. But it's not. Go back in the rubber and then I guess. Dang it. Dang it, I can never have it easy. We'll go into Red Burn again. At least he gets a minus one. He goes for Steel Crusher. Which does nothing. I can go for a weight, actually, as well. I can even go for a weight and get my energy back. Which, honestly, I think that's the play to do. He has to go for an Earthquake, but I will be fine. I will be fine. I'm fine. I live one. Yes, I live one easily. Wow. I live one really easily. So now, I Body Crash my way to victory. Body Crash the Pyrex. Body crash, the rest. Right, wrestling comes in, I go into Tyronix. If Apolos comes in, I go into. Uh, actually, if Apolos comes in, I stay in. And hope this freaking thing doesn't crit. But let's be honest here. Let's be honest here, guys. Let me guess. It did not crit. And it didn't daze. So Rabern is able to KO the Apolos. And now. All we need is a burn. If we can get a burn on the... We'll burn the... Yeah, we'll burn it. That's if we can even... That's if we can even live a hit. But he's kind of low already. We'll go for the Raging Flame. Try to burn it. I think I die, though. Yeah, I die. Pep Jab is pretty powerful. Pep Jab is pretty powerful. But I can go back into a Phantom now. And yeah, Phantom wins the game from here. We'll go for the weight. Go for the weight. Get my energy back. And yeah, I think it's a win from there. Unless this thing has bulk up. Which... Okay, it goes for the blaze. Don't flinch. It doesn't. We'll go for the Nova Blast. And now he's GG's. That was a very good last battle with Fred Burn, honestly. That was a really good... There's the burn. But at least it didn't daze. That was a very good last battle with Fred Burn. And I was right. I did check my footage. The second battle was... The, not the second battle of the video. This is technically the fourth battle I've done. But there's only going to be three in the video because, yeah, my other battle did get corrupted, unfortunately. So, be fair, Red Burn didn't do anything in that one neither, so it was fine. Red Burn in that last battle showed the best of its potential. And I think if you have a sap plant user like Stolnecki, Spreezy, or like any sap plant user like Malmark or Wild Isle, I think Red Burn can do some serious work because sap plant's a good way to get health back on this thing. Or if you have health gifts. So, Red Burn is a very good pre-evolved Lumion with bulk up body crash, slap down, get rid of items, and raging flame to stun melee attackers even more. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me showcasing Red Burn, and I will see y'all all later. Bye bye.